What's up everyone, Elijah the Boss Ninja here and today we're discussing something very interesting. It's a topic that I don't think I've gotten any questions on but I've asked myself these questions. Is winning American Ninja Warrior twice impossible? I mean, it's a good question, no one's ever done it. So we're gonna get into that in this video, let's go. All right, so is winning American Ninja Warrior impossible? For those of you that just like to click on a video and find the answer and be like, yo, what's the answer? So in my opinion, winning American Ninja Warrior twice or three times or four times or even five times is possible. We just haven't had someone do it yet. So there you go, there's the conclusion. If you wanna know how I came to this conclusion though, well, that's where the rest of the video comes in. So let's go. So, American Ninja Warrior is one of the hardest TV shows ever, with there being four stages and then two qualifying rounds to get to those four stages. You don't jump right into the stages, you have to prove yourself before you even get to the stages where you can win money. Stage one is like agility, speed, a lot of technique now, and flying through the air. Stage two is kind of, in my opinion, like a continuation of stage one. It's like, you have the technique, you have the power, and it's just a lot more technical though and then like kind of bigger moves. And then stage three is grip and technique. The show has kind of moved more towards like technical obstacles for some reason. Stage three used to be all out strength and now it's more technique. And then stage four is a rope climb, one of the hardest rope climbs I've ever seen. 75 feet and 30 seconds, that's really crazy. Um, I know a lot of people that can do it. I right now am not one of those people. Rope climbs are kind of my downfall, but uh, yeah. And then I'm kind of doing this out of order, but then first off you have qualifying and then city finals. Qualifying is six obstacles. It's like uh, agility, some sort of like swing obstacle, balance, or a flying through the air obstacle for three and four. And then number five is usually the hardest obstacle of qualifying. And then the warped wall, which is obstacle six, or the mega wall, which is 18 feet. And then the normal wall is like 14 and a half feet. And then city finals just adds four obstacles to the end of city qualifying and that one is really hard like city finals if you clear that you know you're doing pretty well um i've heard it be called like a stage two and a half like that's what it's kind of equal to difficulty wise so yeah but you have to get through those two just to make it to stage one two three and four and then in stage one two three and four you have to clear all those stages without falling now with what I just said without falling, there's a catch to this now because with the power tower, if you do this in the city finals, you get a safety pass where if you fall on stage one or two, you get a redo. This is another reason why I think winning American Ninja Warrior twice or three times or more is even more possible because if you think about it, that's just a redo to something that your season would be over. So like if you fell and you have that, you get a redo and it's like usually your season would be over and it'd be done. So I mean like, I feel like a and wants more winners. And so, I mean, that's just kind of what they're doing. So there's been a couple people to win American Ninja Warrior um, a few times, and I'm not gonna name names, but they've all been a little bit older and not towards the end of their ninja career, but like older, you know what I'm saying? Like, so this is right now, like a lot of teens are doing American Ninja Warrior and there's a lot of really good teenagers doing American Ninja Warrior. And so I feel like them growing up doing American Ninja Warrior will result in a lot more wins because they've just been doing it for so long. It's like if you start golf when you're 30 as opposed to starting golf when you're 10, the 10 year old is gonna probably be better just because he has learned since he was 10. Now, if he's 10 and the 30 year old are both starting at the same time, the 30 year old might be better at that moment. But then if the 30 year old becomes 40 and the 10 year old becomes 20, the 10 year old might be better just because he's been doing it when he was younger, if that makes any sense. And another reason is these teenagers have school, they don't necessarily have work, and they can train more in my opinion. Like I'm homeschooled, I train every day, like I run cross country and everything, even though I don't have a lot of free time, people are like, you're homeschooled, but yeah. But like teenagers don't have to provide for a family and stuff, so they can train a lot more. And like, if teenagers get called for the show next year, which I'm praying they do, I really think there will be a lot of success and I mean who knows, maybe a teenager next year will win the entire show. I hope I helped y'all understand this a little bit better. If this wasn't as in depth as y'all were hoping, I mean just drop down in the comments below. Um, I will try to make a better video next time. But yeah, I really do think American Ninja Warrior in the future will be one. I think there could be some person that wins it five or six times, no joke, like that many times. I really do. 
and I think it could be someone that y'all know as a teenager right now. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what y'all think. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.